for this game, we find ourselves at the Gabba. Oh, it's a clear moon for tonight's game. Collaborating with me in the commentary booth is Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Hi, Hutto. Absolute pleasure to be here with you. Even though this is an exhibition match, Hutto, we expect that both teams still want to win. Brisbane set to take on Geelong in this exhibition match tonight. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. We play the game as it should be played. It's a big day for Geelong forwards. If they can get on top of the Lions defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains make their way to the centre circle for the coin toss. Brisbane kicking to the left of screen. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bounce. And here we go. It's Brisbane taking on Geelong. Karras steals possession. They can link up now. A good mark out of the circumstances. The kick from Webster. A strong pack mark. Elects to kick. Easily takes the mark. She's gone. Cranston finds a way to hang on. Fantastic tackle. A big contested grab. Purcell plays it on. Just landed in her back. Push in the back. A chance here to convert for Geelong. Darby lines up from long range. Going for goal number one. A good mark out of the circumstances. Almost certain to go through from this distance. Going for goal number one. That's a well-executed kick for a goal. No doubt about it. Celebrating hard. The first goal of the match. She did really well there and gets the reward. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. About to resume hostilities. Won the hit out. They can create from this. Puts boot to ball. And she stepped over the boundary line. Umpire calls for a throw in. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Doing well was Gallinger. Good mark there. Ten metres out. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. Yes, I know. Gets her first. She's excited about that one. Brisbane sink their first. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement.
We're back in motion. Wins the ruck duel. Has it now. Morrison kicks in heavy traffic. Great grab. Uses it across half-back. An easy grab for Webb. Works it across the ground. Just put it on the boot. Keith sees off O'Connor. Goes with the kick. A strong mark in the pack from Hickey. Got boot to ball. Lutkins collects the loose ball. The mark is taken by McMahon. Chose to kick it. Hands that ball to the opposition. Conway applying physical pressure. Conway will get the free. Decides to kick. Doing well with the mark. Dishes it off. Conan links with a teammate who can run. Collected by Xan Cheddar. It'll be a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Clark earns a free kick. Slams it on the boot. Strong mark in the contest. With a driving kick. Hickey takes the mark. Puts it on the boot. A great mark taken there. Allen drives the kick. Dancetta takes the pressure of the goal kick upon herself. She takes aim. Takes a nice mark. Ten metres out. No issues with that drop punt. Pretty happy with that one. Brisbane have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Brisbane by a goal. Karras stumped it clear. Slips the tackle. Boyd for the spearing kick. Lost concentration for a moment. Dug out the loose ball. Quickly onto the boot. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the opening term. The scores, Brisbane 12 to Geelong 6. Brisbane should be pleased with how they've started. If they can build on that quarter, they'll be hard to stop. Let's analyse the stats. Geelong have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and... It's... The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Back in the middle now. Thrashes it. She's got the football now. Karras dropped what she should have taken. I can tell already that's not too good. She looks injured. Difficult to see her coming back on after that. Arnell didn't mark it. Gets on the end of this. Wins the race to the ball. Webster keeps that one low. Conan wins the ball in the air. Heads long with that kick. Clark picks up the loose ball. Goes short by hand. Well taken at ground level. Darby marks uncontested. Manufactures the handball. Ends up with Webster. The umpire calls for it. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. A bit too hard with a push, and it's a free kick. A chance to put one through here for the Cats. 50 metres from home. She heads for home. Wow! How good was that? Mick Williams celebrates with the fans. The scores are tied. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. About to resume play. Clears the contest. Slams it onto the boot. 
Takes a simple grab. Elects to kick. Found space for an easy bar. 45 metres out. She likes her chances from here. Dug it out. The ball finds itself to the boundary. We'll get the ball tossed back into play. Ball back into play. Finds the loose ball. Brilliant chase. Gathered by Harris. Missed the target. Ball gets cut off. Gets a quick kick away. The umpire pays deliberate. Interesting call. Goes with the kick. Tackle locks the ball loose. Hickey moves it now. Keeps the ball in play. Rushes with the kick. Nice hands. Skinner looks to convert this opportunity. Chose to kick it. Nice mark under pressure. Ivy goes with the kick. Webster did well to win that ball. She decides to go for home. So close, but just misses. Teammates break for her. Webb gets in a good position. A spearing kick. Finds a target. Campbell channels a long kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Looks to move it by foot. Marks that ball uncontested. Uses it by foot. Takes the mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Terrific mark there. Skinner looks to build some momentum with this kick. 35 metres out. Going for goal number one. No luck for him there. And it's a behind. Geelong by two points. Looking for options now. Conan with an easy mark. Looking to rebound with this kick. Drives it long. Scoops it up. Kicks hurriedly. She looks like she needs a spell. Runs it over the boundary line. The umpire will throw it in. What can it tell? Half time and it's Geelong 14 to Brisbane 12. A good first half from Geelong. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? The Cats haven't been winning the ball as often around the contest, but it's what they're doing after the initial contest that sees them in the lead. Thank you, Gaz. One half of footy down, one to come. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Back in the middle to resume play. Hammers it. A clean collect. Penetrating handball. She gains the possession. She's got the footy in her hands. The mark has been taken. Uses it now. Picks up the loose ball. Clark rides out the tackle. Good body work to win the mark. Driving kick forward. The loose ball picked up. Drives it out of the pack. Gory got hands to it. Puts on a big hit. Handballs. She has the ball. Big moment to get the lead with this kick. 
Look at them celebrate that effort. Brisbane are back in France. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. The Lions have been inside 50 less times than the opposition, but they're making the most of their chances, and that sees them in front. Karras gets the handball away. Purcell getting in on the act. Darts it through for another. Webster couldn't be happier with that goal. They've taken the lead. Punches are clear. Didn't fumble. Rankin hacking it out of there. It's a turnover. Skinner manufactures a handball. Ivy has the ball. Had plenty of the ball. Pushes off the tackler. Marks now and can send it back. Cuts the kick in board. Campbell wins the marking contest with quick hands. She's the number one ranked player on the ground. She's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Has the player running for her. Allinger gets the loose ball. Just gave it away. Using every ounce of energy she has left. Dropped the mark she should have taken. Conan crosses off the tackle. Scoops up the ball. Fantastic chase and tackle. Cranston hunting with authority. Great tackle. Moves the ball along the wing. Doing well to intercept that kick. Puts boot to ball. Takes it well. Got boot to ball. Takes that one strongly. With a driving kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Webster has resources out wide. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Lobs the handball. Webb gets in the way. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. The players will be feeling it out there. The ball bubbling around. Oh. Mick Williams now heading off to the bench for a break. Ball over the line. Thrown in now. Punched away. Taylor gets the ball. Couldn't keep the ball in play. Umpire tosses it in. Thump clear. Gathers it now. Allinger flicks it over. Lug won herself a free. Decides to kick. The mark has been taken. Slams it on the boot. McMahon has it. Moves it by foot. Allinger was taken high in the tackle. Brisbane would love to make the most of this opportunity. Move it on. They'll snatch the lead if this goes through. She's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Goes by hand. Nobody can hold on here. Hands that ball to the opposition. Drop punt finds its way home from Anderson. Get some reward for her efforts. Brisbane go back in the lead again. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Ball gets cut off. Rankin comes away with the ball. Gone! What a tackle! Constant pressure and rewarded. Chips it towards half forward. Taking a nice grab. Decides to play on. McMahon doesn't take the mark. Allinger going for number one. She acknowledges the crowd. Brisbane starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 30 to 20. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. This is how they can score Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Geelong need to be far more competitive with their clearance work. They can't win games that way. The game is back underway. 
Swatson. The loose ball picked up. Skinner can't hold on to the... Clears the congestion. We have one quarter left to play. What caught your eye, Gary? Brisbane believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. What stands out for you, Gaz? Geelong are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Thanks, Gaz. Umpire ready to begin the final turn. Back in the middle now as the rucks go at it. Clears the contest. Is in her possession. Snaffled up by Karras. Slick with the hands. Webster throws the ball away. They can just slow the game down now. Take a bit of time off the clock. Webster puts it on the boot. Hickey intercepts it from the bounce. Couldn't snaffle it. She can put it through. Oh, it just hits the post. It's under two goals now. Looking for options now. Plays on to herself. Looks up with the kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. A chance to put a second goal on the board. She slots this one. A big goal there. Congratulated by her teammates. The Cats close the gap to three. Back in the middle now. Thump clear. Difficult ball. Controlled. Clumsy tackle. Results in a free kick. Chips it towards half forward. Purcell was surrounded. She needed to mark that, and she did. Blakeway needs to live. That's right, Hutto. She just can't seem to get into the game. Lutkin keeping it low. Marks all alone. <laughs> Taylor might kick a goal. That one hits the woodwork. They are right back in this now. Latkins ready to bring it back into play. A bit unlucky as the umpire pays deliberate. Purcell running off for a break. Derby urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick. Might be too far out to score. A tough chance from here. I agree with you there, Hutto. She drives it towards goal. Great mark under pressure. Stab kick from Garnell. It's marked by Webb. Drives the kick hard. Good body work to win the mark. Conan kicks it. A chance to reload the attack now. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. Ivy kicks it. Strong with the body and wins the mark. 40 metres from home. 
This kick will put them in front. Offline for a behind. They trail by less than a goal. Lutkins with the responsibility of kicking it in. Blakeway does well to mark. Big kick required from this distance. Huge opportunity to grab the lead. She bangs it through. Smiles all round. That's two in a row for Geelong. They're in front. Umpire ready to resume play. Swats it. She's got the football now. Van der Heuvel slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Goal scoring opportunity for Rankin. Rankin has resources out wide. Elects to keep moving. Terrific mark there. Keeps going. Gets the handball away. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Moves the ball by foot. A chance to reload the attack now. Skinner with a low spearing kick. Cranston goes with the kick. Taylor wins the ball in the air. Putting this one through would give Geelong plenty of confidence. Blasted inside the 50. This is kickable by her standards. Normally a good shot on goal. Winning the ball in the air was Rankin. 20 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Sensed the opportunity and was able to take it. Rankin celebrates with the fans. Geelong beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 41 to 30. That's a really good team goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Brisbane are struggling to maintain the pace of the game. They might need to slow it down and take some uncontested marks to get the game back on their terms. Back with another set of bounce. Hammers it. Gets the loose ball. I suspect Brisbane coach will want to have a few words back in the rooms after seeing his team go down like that. One side played a better brand of team football. You can't be too reliant on individual stars as much anymore, and that was the difference here. We play the game as it should be played, and far away. High. Final scores are 41 to 30. On behalf of Gary Lyon, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again soon. In your pocket.